everybody, I'm Steph. I'm Michael. Today we're going to check out Monster Expedition. One to four players by Amigo. Ooh. Once yeah. upon a time, oh. there was a game called Carnival of Monsters. Oh yeah. And then the little baby brother came along, Monster Expedition. And it's got tasty dice. It's I a push love, your luck game. I love game. dice games. Yeah. I was totally push your luck and you always push your luck. I'm not very good so, at this game. <laughs> like I was I went to the other room to like read through the rules and stuff and Steph was doing her thing, I was doing my thing. And from the other room, Steph hears, You're so gonna lose this game. And she's like, What? What? I said, No, you're totally gonna lose this game. Why? It's push your luck. <laughs> That's pretty much the sign that says, hey, stuff's going to lose. <laughs> but uh, but no, you like it. Oh, yeah. So I like dice games. I like dice games. I like game. push your luck games. Well, you, you, love, you totally love push your luck games. So um, I'm not sure whether you like it better than Carnival of Monsters. I think you do. I don't know. I really love drafting games. Yeah, and Carnival of Monsters has your drafting yeah. that you want. So and set collection. They're, they're very different. They are very different. But they set, they're set in the same They're world. set in the same universe. They have a lot of the same art. Um, um, now, we have a German copy. The publisher says, hey, you can have a German copy right now. Or you can wait a few months and have an English copy. And we're like... I'll, whenever you want. We can deal with it. I can deal with it. No problem. And she says that would really help us a lot. So, I print it off. So, I don't think it's available so in the States. So, we've got the German yet. rules. Yeah. I printed off the English rolls and, it, and they fit in the box. That was Yay. fantastic. They did a great job sizing the PDF correctly so that I could not only print it off, could double side it. Look at that. That's like, and I don't have a color printer because like we save a lot of money just go switching to toner. Yeah. So for sure. Pro tip: uh, if you don't have to have everything in color, go laser. You got to. Um, and uh, there's only so the names are the same in the English text here. Mm -hmm. uh, like, for example, I mean, look at the artwork. The artwork's fantastic. It's really have to, good, yeah. You might have to switch the little, yeah, working on the it. little thing. Um, but you notice, you know, it's German, Fuchsling. Um, but the English rules reference the German names of the card. So I don't think those will change any. Everything else is just iconography. And the iconography is easy to deal with. There is one and only one card that needs translation, as far as I can tell, and it's this one. And all it means is, I think this means it stays in the, this will stay in the in uh, monster row. Yeah. You never do take this monster hunter. Right. That's what it is. Um, monster handler. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> so, hey, let's, uh, let's take a look and see how this game looks. There we go. So, I mean, look at the beautiful art. I mean, it's so pretty. As I already showed you on the Fuchsling, I mean, it's really pretty. Um, critters that are the same name are usually drawn the same with different colors. Yeah, so, it's a little detail that I like that they, yeah. they changed a little bit. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, these are going to be worth the same amount of points, the same bonus, and everything, but this one is slightly harder to get than this one, as you can see. Um, so. We are, uh, every game is going to start with these seven in play. They right? tell you to use the box cover as the dice tray. Yes. So and you know what? We it works. It works really well. Yeah. You have a little monster thing on there. <laughs> um, oh, and it actually says on here, a carnival of monsters adventure yep. on the rules. Um, <clears throat> they are very specific about how many cards to place in here. 27 for a two-player game. Three of which will be rolled up into the uh, Monster Rose at start. Now, those are going to be probably really difficult to get with what we're starting out with. Um, let me get my terminology right. Each of us will get three supply camps. A, an airy camp, I believe it is. I, I want to make sure to get these. I don't even know if I can find where this is. There's a yellow camp and a blue camp and a green camp. They actually have names, but pretty much you can tell it's basically the forest and the air and the water. So critters in the air, like birds and stuff, you're going to have to fight, uh, attack them from this camp. Critters in the water, you're going to have to go attack with the water camp. And critters in the 
forest you're going to have to get from your little forest camp. So you'll notice that each of these start off with two black die, two black dice, and one of the one die of each of the other colors, depending on which camp you're starting out with. So if I'm going to attack a bird creature, I'm going to have to try to do it from the yellow camp. So that's what I will roll is uh, one yellow and two black, plus any other bonuses that I might acquire along the way. Now, if you'll notice on the uh, screen down here where my hand is, you'll notice that the black dice are just standard one through six. The blue dice, one, two, six, seven, eight, ten. The green dice, one, two, three, six, seven, eight. And the yellow die is one, six, seven, eight, ten, ten. Woo. So um, when you roll, you're going to roll all of your dice and you are going to Las Vegas style take all of one value and you must take all of one value if you cannot you must take the highest banked die that you have rolled previously so let's say i've rolled these dice and i choose the five and later on uh and and then i roll a 10 later on and then i roll a five clearly i can't do anything with that i will lose my highest die and then I will re-roll this again. Or stop. You can stop at any time. I could have stopped at this 15. Probably should have. Well, there's a 1-6 chance that I miss it up completely. Yeah. And lose that 10. So those are the... It's a it's different strategy decisions than you would have in a game like uh, Vegas. Specifically because it's not that you lose one of these dice and keep rolling. No. You lose your highest die. You don't lose you, your... If you had a tie for highest, you lose them both, right? Uh, no. You just lose one. You lose w one of your highest dice. Got it. Uh, at least that's what I think. I don't think you lose all of the highest dice. Fortunately, I didn't lose my, my high dice. I stopped. But... And then you will take whatever you have rolled, and you will attempt to acquire monsters from uh, the market. Um... When we first read the rules, we were unclear. We were like, do you have to cage the monsters first? Because you can buy cages. Well, these are actually caged monsters. Pre-caged. These, you're going out and capturing yourself. And you don't need a cage for them after you've captured them. They, they're just captured and you'll get victory points for them. Uh, these basic ones are all worth one victory point. Um... The advanced ones are worth a variable amount of victory points, usually one to six, um, with approximately half the cost if you have them for their caged value. So let's say that I got this critter in a cage. That's just going to stay face down the rest of the game. At the end of the game, I'm going to turn it face up and look at it, and it's going to be worth between one and three points. It would have been worth four points if it had been turned up and I captured him. In a cage, he is just worth one to three points. And there's not very many threes, from what yeah, I understand. Yeah, there's, there's not. It's it's average one and a half from what somebody we who analyzed on. on BGG. Yeah. <laughs> um, so heavy ones, lighter twos, very light on the threes, basically. Yeah. Um, so... If I were to go out and I attack this, uh, Fuchs, if I went out from the green village, if I had 18 points, I could get both the Fuchs, both of these Fuchs Langs. If I rolled 20, I could get a this 10 Fuchs Lang and this cage. Uh, if I rolled 28, you know I could get 10, 10, and 8, whatever you, combination you want. You know, two cages and an eight. What you can't you get, get is the yellow locations, the blue locations. You cannot get a yellow from a green camp. You cannot get a blue from a green camp. Uh, there are some monsters that can be attacked from any location, and they will have all three symbols up in the corner. No, that that means he's good for the set collection. He needs to be taken from the yellow oh, location. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. You're correct. Yeah. Here is where it needs to be taken from. Here is what it is worth in a set collection. Now... You'll notice every one of the monsters seems to have, no, um, not everyone, but most of them will have this set collection aspect down here. If you have a green and a blue and a yellow, then you will get a black die on every roll that you get from then on. 
You'll probably get two or three of them before the game is done. I would think two, two. I had two sets. I think you were. Did you get to your third set? Uh, I was close. I think so, I had. I know I had at least two. Right. Oh, here is the one that is everywhere. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. The Draco Chelona Chelonia. There, he's in all three locations, and worth all three symbols. Yeah. Now, uh, when you assign this. Um, to an area like let's say you assign this as a green one it doesn't have to stay a green one you can sort them at any time mm -hmm. so i don't think that once you have assigned him he stays that color right so um the monster hunter if you can manage to rack up 40 points you don't yeah. have, you don't get four you can get six cages so that's pretty yeah. fantastic um so once something has been taken from the display it does not refresh unless you have either bought or stolen a cage. You acquire a cage. You acquire a cage it. somehow. <laughs> then you will refill from the cage and you will put one of these on every one of the monsters that got put out this turn. Mm -hmm. So um, what this is, this, I, you've got red ones. I've got these white and yellow ones. Um we will get to keep these for their caged value at the end of the game if uh, one or the other of us hasn't actually captured it. And that makes a big difference in the game, too. Yeah. Um, so once these cards run out, that triggers the end. Um, since I'm going first, we you will have either a last turn or the last turn, and I won't get a response either way. Right. Either I will trigger the end and you get one more, or you trigger the end and that's it. Yep. And uh, so that's how it worked with us. The last thing I did not mention was the upgrade mechanism for these. Uh, you'll notice there's a one, a two, and a three in the middle of these. For every die, not just if I roll a one, but for every die that rolls a one, I can rotate this around one rotation. Well, that you keep. That, that I roll and keep, yes. Right. For every one that I lock in and remains... But whenever we do our hunting thing, then you will get to rotate. In addition, there is a 10 there. And you notice there's players on both sides of that. Anyone who rolls a 10, if they keep it, then you get to rotate this. Now, let's say that Steph uh, is taking her turn and she rolls a 10. And then subsequently, it gets knocked out. I will not get to rotate my blue for that. Nor will she get to keep rotate any of hers if she had had something that rotates on a 10. Player number two uh, has things that rotate on an 8. Her green one over here will rotate on an 8, not a 10. Now, you might think, oh, well, that's going to come up more often. N not necessarily. Uh, there's an 8 on every die. There are two 10s on the yellow and a 10 on the blue. So it is asymmetric, which I, I, I like games like that. It gives you choice it gives you interesting decisions so once you've got this fully upgraded on this side notice there's a little arrow that says hey flip it over i wish that when they had you flip it over either direction it had you start from the right side but it's not it's almost like you have to turn and flip because it's on the next adjoining side so you just start from there and go all the rest of the way around once you pass this area here you get to get two cages for free and uh, then that's as high as this can be rotated so um, anyway I love games in which you are building your engine and this is clearly a dice rolling engine building game so yep. let's do this thing let's do this thing um, Shrey, if you are out there and you want to do a prediction for us, you can. Um, obviously the game starts with two green, two yellow, two blue monsters, and all of this stuff down here. Um, I'd have to get super lucky to get something as good as, uh, that little guy down there. But, you know, fortune, uh, fortune favors the bold. Though, I don't know. That starts off at an eight. That's not bad. I also want to limit your eight opportunities, but I can't do so because every Eight's die on every, every die. die rolls an eight, except the black, obviously. Every colored die rolls an eight. 
Um, you know what? I might as well roll yellow. So, because either I will get something good or I will get to rotate that thing. In my opinion, that's either way is a win. An eight five five is not bad. Now I can't say, oh, I'm stopping. I'm taking the eighteen. Right. That's yeah. not how it works. You must take take a uh, number. It's not bad because you can't bust yourself at this time. I can now not bust myself because this rolls one six seven eight ten and ten. You could roll a one, which would be not great, but uh, could roll a one. That would be, and I can't choose to not take it. Okay. I rolled a ten. Wow. So that's twenty right off the bat. Um, you could take your, your eagle. Um, yeah, I mean, it's every color. So, I mean, that's that seems like a no-brainer. I've got a 10-5-5. Five, five. I actually do get to rotate my blue one notch because of my 10. I'll do yellow as well. You'll also do yellow. So, bloop. Now, notice, does not fill. Keep that in mind. That's important. A one, four, six. Oh, Charlotte said that it looked a lot like Carnival, so she knew what it was. Yeah. So. Come on. Three and a one. Man, that's bad. But now you uh, can't bust yourself out. Six. Uh, wow. It's not great. That's a 13 right there. Well, I do get to do you, this You once, do. And I, I do not rotate mine. Only on those tens and eights do we rotate on other people's turns. Well, 13's not bad. You get one. I'll take this one. Leaving the ha harder one for me, obviously, because yeah. she doesn't want me to get any sort of advantage. I mean, why would she? Well, that's my thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like it's time for blue because I get three blacks and a blue. I mean, that's not bad. Um. Oh, trivia. We've never hit the Monster Hunter. We've never 40. hit 40. Yeah. I always roll really poorly. How about five, five, three, one? That does not look bad. You and your fives. Me and my fives. A three and a one. How about that three? Well, you can't bust, so there's that. Uh, no, because it's one, two, six, seven, eight, ten. And I've already got 13, which is not bad. Oh, wow. ba boom. Oh, man. This is where I go to lose because he's <laughs> upgrading all of his stuff. He gets this is where I go to lose. He upgrades the blue and green camps. Uh, yeah, I upgrade the great. blue because of the 10, the, the green because of the 3. So let me do that before I forget. And so what I'm going to take, I am going to take... You could take both blue cards. Why wouldn't you? I can take both blue cards. I can also take... Um, you know what? I am actually going to leave the, well, there's no reason to leave the weaker one except for myself. A nine and an 11 is pretty easy to hit. It, they, they're both easy to hit uh, and they're both the same victory points. I think I'm going to take a cage. And the reason behind this is for the spots that get refilled, I'm going to get my symbol on them. Um, so put off, uh, you, we put our cages off to the side. Everything that I flip up, and it doesn't matter what order these go in. You can arrange them however you want, whatever makes the most sense for you. I'm going to put my token on each of these. If they're not taken by the end of the game, they're mine, baby. They're mine as caged animals. So one and two and one, it looks like. And that gives her reason to take them now. And me reason not to take them, sure, to be honest. Green. So two and a one. Three and a one. Huh. A one, three, three, four. So very bad, but I'll get to upgrade green more. So very bad. I see the stream is something, something, something. Can't that I'm not going to say. the three. So took a six. Cause, yeah, because you, you couldn't take. The, oh, rolled a three. Lose my six. And there's no reason for you to not keep going. A two. So That's an eight. Bad. Hey, I could take something. Can you? Yeah. Oh, there is an eight. <laughs> That's right. And you're gonna get a lot of upgrades. Yeah, maybe it will help. One, two. And then one for the two. And like this. 
And since you rolled an eight, no, <laughs> not that way. An actual number eight, not totaling yeah, eight. No. That would be good for you. I would. I had to caffeinate. All right, looks like my numbers are two and four and three. Um, I think I'm going to go green this time. Looking for this Fuchsling because then I'll have three. Three, four, five, nine. No, six. There are no nines. So, yeah, whenever you look at this, there is no underline on this. So, yeah. it can be tricky. I've got it here on the little overhead screen. Keep in mind, there are no nines. So, anytime you see something that looks like a nine, think again. It is not. Um... Yeah, rolling a six would not be great. I think I'm going to take it as a three. How about a six and a six? And, a six. and it looks like a six. Wow. Do you want sixes? <laughs> uh, I want sixes with that. Yeah. Um, Shocked. <laughs> uh, so that would be um, 21. So I'll take a 10 and a 10. I've got my three set for now. Now notice, some of these could have abilities. These do not have abilities. We do have Actually, some abilities. was there one with an ability I could have taken? I don't think there is. Not that, not from the green lands. So I'm going to rotate the green. And I'm going to, when I replenish, I'm going to place my little token on. Which, and this is, this is what I did the first game that Steph and I played. I, well, I can't roll I hate covering up the beautiful me. artwork. It's so pretty. I'm going to go with the green. So now, whenever I roll, I'm going to roll an additional black die. So, you're going to go green, which is four black dice and a green. That's good. Mm. She, mm, you got a 22 you can hit. One, one, three, five, six. So very bad. Choosing a three? Yeah. That's a good plan. How about a one, two, three, eight? You are just scattershotting everything. Yeah. That eight's going to be good for an upgrade for you. Three, six, six. I guess I'm going to stop. Yeah, because you could knock that eight right out, can't you? I probably That looks would. like uh, 12 and 8 is 23. One, two. Wow, you were already up that far. Man, that's good. How much is this? How much is what? 23 said. Yeah, because 14 and, uh, no. Uh, 12, yeah, 12 and 8 is 20 and 3 is 23, yes. And this is still your That's cage. 22, and I'm that gonna, would still my... Gonna have not to. only that, you still you take away the token. Yeah. Um, notice there is an icon on this card that you just sat down when I was trying to take it. Um, it's got an icon on it that allows you to steal a cage from another player. Clearly, I am another player. Uh, that's actually a super strong ability. Um, and because she acquired a cage, she gets to put her token. Oh, look, we have another Jake Crochelonia. Boop. All right. <clears throat> well... Well, if I go blue or green, I'm going to have five black dice and a green die. Four for the uh, uh, for the camp, one for the cam uh, colored one for the camp, and one for the trio of monsters. This will allow me to get... I'm looking to see what's out there. I see one green, one blue, and a buttload of yellows. But I just don't roll that many dice with the yellow. Um, what? We bottomed out really bad. I don't know if we lost the stream or not. Uh, I'm still going on my side. Okay. All right, so I'm I'm gonna go ahead and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the yellow just to get just to get some of these yellows up and out. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm thinking of my chances of hitting the 31 Draco Chelonia or the 35 up here. 
Um, both of them are fairly good. This would allow me to steal. Oh, but it's also one of my own already. Don't have to worry as much about it. All right, so I rolled for the uh, yellow, and that seems really good. Four, four, six, ten. You keeping an eye on it? Yeah. Yeah, it's super low. Oh, uh, it's a hard choice. Because the fours oh, are. Oh, we got a raid. Hey, raid. Hi, raid. Matthew Raiders. Jude's ghost. Hey, Thank we're playing you. Carnival of Monsters. We are playing Our Carnival stream is not having good, of <laughs> a good time, but <laughs> um, the stream is sort of jumpy today. We're not sure. Did you guys experience Twitch issues? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Thank you guys for raiding. Happy you're here. Absolutely. Maybe you guys will bring good luck to our stream. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> My goodness. All right, I'm going to go ahead and keep the fours. Because that's not bad. Uh, I must keep the 10. So, sitting here with an 18. <laughs> I can't get the 25, no matter what I do. Um, the best I can probably do is pull out a, a 12 and a 10, but I'd have to roll a 5 or a 6 with it. That's awful risky. Thanks for following. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to roll. Roll it. I rolled it. You're it risky. It didn't matter a lot. So that's um, 20. Sadly, it doesn't improve my options. And it does allow me to get an upgrade here. Oh, and that's another true. upgrade because of the 10. So that'll help future things. I think I'll just take this kooka. Kooka. Kooka, kooka. Kooka. Cuckoo. And you know what? That actually allows me to do that. Pull that off. Wow. It's not bad. It's not great. All right. I'll and take... we do not refresh. Nope. Thanks for following, guys. Five black and a One, green. One, two, three, four, five and a green. Boop. That's a lot. Not this enough. is where you catch up. No. Yes. Hopefully. One, one, four, five, six, seven. Maybe if I rolled better than this, <laughs> it's really bad. I think it's time to get a new caffeine. Uh, a new 12 ounce oh. caffeine pill. Oh. All right. One, one, four, five, six. It's like the dice don't know how to give me pairs. Do you spill? Yep. Because you shook it before. You're like, ah! <laughs> no. I showed it. I didn't shake it. What'd you got? A four and a one, five. One. They're like telling me I need to take the one one. One one seven. Well, I guess I'm taking the one one. Well, yeah, that'll get you upgrades. How about a four and an eight? Uh, I have no choice. You have to take the eight. Now do you risk a 50-50 shot of killing that eight? No. Yeah, I, just, I agree. Just so me. you're at 19. It's so bad. Roll better. Okay, when you play this, my advice is that you roll better. <laughs> Weirdness says somebody needs to bless her dice. I'm seriously <laughs> though. Um. I bless it and give you an extra d6. <laughs> a 19. 19 to get you not a lot. <laughs> That's not great. This 11 that was mine. Maybe I should roll it again. Um. You've got an 11 if you knock it out. Yeah, I'll do it. Just, yeah, so you're... Don't, don't worry, don't, don't... Or, or, or do that. I'm gonna roll it. I have to. And All you right. knocked it out. Well, and now, now, this, now you have to make the choice. Now I so just you get don't get this. the 8. I don't have did a you, choice. Did you rotate that twice? Yes, you did, I think. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's this or or a cage. One or the other. And this just comes back to me. I can use it again and again. That just marks that if it's not cleared by the end, then I will get it. Ooh, let's see. Um, again, there are not a lot of blue options, but I, I haven't improved this one lick, which is not good. 
The problem is that this game is not cooperative, so no one's going to bless my dice. No one, not even herself. <laughs> okay. Ugh. All right, I'm actually going to try for that Draco Chelonia. Not that you can target it, but, I mean, I'm going to try. All ones. Uh, one, one, two, four, five, five, eight. Pair of fives doesn't suck. He needs to really just roll all the same number and be stuck. That's my only hope. <laughs> Obi Wan. How about that ten? And then all fives. And then all fives. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. Six four one four. So this will be 28, I think. I need a three. How about a three right there? 10, 20, 24, 28, 31. That's enough for the Draco Chelonia. I accept your pledge. And hey, I steal that right back. <laughs> Oh, Ross, if you're still out there, how's it going? And Matthew, if you're still out there, you guys tell us what you're playing, and hopefully, you know, <laughs> the stream will be okay on my end. <laughs> <laughs> I got a three upgrade. I got a ten upgrade. I got a Draco Chelonia. I took your uh, cage, and I refresh. And since I took a cage, <laughs> I get all the Ds again. Every time. Every time. Every time. Bloop. When this runs out, we do actually keep refreshing from whatever cards are left. Um, so, yeah. What do you want? Great. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. I lose, lose, lose. I'll just do yellow. All right. Four, four black and one yellow. Four black and a yellow. You don't have a set yet? No. No? I don't have blue. Maybe. Oh, you don't have blue. Well, you know, you could get blue if you just rolled the blue. Well, maybe. Well, she kept her 10. Two, four, five, six. We have every number. One, six, six. It looks really good right there. So that's a... probably uh, stop. Was that 27? Hmm. Is it good enough to get cards? Ah, oh, farming on some Stardew Valley. Ah, it seems to be a, a hit with everybody. Well, I should take this one. People seem to be liking that one. Strackle, strackle, jackle. I steal a gate. No! You mean a cage? Yeah. Well, that would have been better a turn ago. <laughs> no, I'm never on top of things here. So, probably. Probably. And did you get all your upgrades? Oh, I get a 10 upgrade. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Have you ever rolled an 8? I don't think so. Um, not to my knowledge. Roll the tape. <laughs> Let's find out. Tape broke. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a blue. If I decide to do the blues. Stardew Valley. Yeah, I, want, I mean, I don't know the video game of Stardew Valley, but people seem to be enjoying it. So I'll probably play it at some point. <laughs> All right, rolling a uh, six black dice plus a blue die plus an extra die. So that's seven black and a blue. Uh, uh, uh. All ones. How about a lot of fives? Yeah. I accept your tribute. Take six cages. <laughs> Working on it. Two, three, six, seven, hey, one. Hey, that's a roll more like mine. That is like your roll. Really bad. <laughs> Do I take the single six? I mean, you know what? If I took this two, I can upgrade this all the way to the top. But a 10 also does the same thing. Uh, a three will upgrade my green, though. So that seems good. So I took the three. Two, four, five, ten. What am I at now? It's 28. 
Looking to see what's out there. If I can hit 40, I'm going to get six cages. Wow. I don't need the twos for the upgrades. 10, 20, 25, 28. That would be 32. Red, 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 red. It keeps redding? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's just sad. Um, you know what? I'm probably going to have to take the twos and... St well, I can take the one and stop. 10, 20, 25, 28. This makes me 29. And stop there. That'll get that an upgrade. So this is an upgrade. This is an upgrade and two cages. I forgot that that was an upgrade. I mean that that was a that was a two cage thing, and this uh, three is an upgrade. Rotate flip. I'm getting the hang of that. <laughs> um, so for ten twenty three, I can just take both of these. Um, it only gets me three versus four, but I've already half gotten this. And I'm taking away her her potential cage. So that's beneficial for me. Um, then whatever comes out, since I well, I'm get first I get two cages, then I refresh and get tokens on them. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cages left out of the original 24 to 27 that were there. All right, I need three black and a blue. Three black and a blue. Well, they did refresh some. I tried taking many of the blues. Unfortunately, I didn't do it good enough because they came back out again. Two, two, four, seven. And six, six. 16. Not great. I do. Did you steal that cage from me again? You did, didn't you? I'll take this one because it has a power on it that says upgrade your green. Oh. So I will. Yep. There are some that say immediate upgrade green. There are some of them that say upgrade green whenever someone um, misapplies a die, knocking it off, knocking the highest one off. So that's all of those are rather good. Oh, you do have a set now. I do. That's good. You need those sets. I uh, believe I am going green. I'm looking for 15 or 35. See, the problem with green is the green die does not go up very high. Um, alternatively, I could go yellow. I don't get as many dice. But I already have two bonuses. But there are two low-cost yellows that will enable me to get a whole bunch of bonuses. 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 I'll take the bonuses. Four, wow. four, two, two, three. It's not great. Ten. I think I'll grab the fours while I can. Because I don't need two upgrades anymore. Oh, you can take tens without any worry right now. Not that I roll because them, so it doesn't matter. That's maxed out. How about once? Uh, you know what? I have I, no, I have uh, no uh, choice. I've been asking for a really. I've got two fours. Role. I've now got three ones, <laughs> four eight. I'm up to eleven. Well, I mean, there's not much risk here. No, there is not. Wow. <laughs> I guess there was. Pop. <laughs> well, no, because I mean, I still need to get something where I can get something. I didn't have enough. I had eleven. That's a 12, that's a it 13. It's an effort cage, but yeah. Ooh, a cage. That's when I went before. 13. Now I've got 13. Yeah. Um, well, now that I look at it, I can either get something to do, to get more sets, which would be fine, but it's not enough to get another full set. 
So, and I would be taking from my own guys. So I think my best play is to take one of these, let this refresh, and put my counter on it. Mm -hmm. Instead of taking any of those. I also get three upgrades to my one, four, four, five. That was a horrible roll. What do you get? Um, seven and a green. Wow, this is your big, this is your big chance here. I don't know. We'll see if I roll. I might just be getting ones and threes worth of points, and she might be getting fives and sixes, so she does have a chance. Not really. You have literally all your tokens on the board. Well, that's so. what I'm hoping that they stay. Six, six. You had some ones and threes and fives and an eight. Counts at 12. One, two, 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 three, five. Boy, that's bad. You looking to see the upgrade path? Yeah. Just, I think it's a five, it, five, it six, six. It? Probably not. But, I mean, if you don't take the, yeah. If you, I mean, if you don't take, if you take the five, then that's locked. That's sort of. Blah. Not that I rolled five, five. One, four, four, six, six. Well, you can't take the choice. Can't take the sixes, unfortunately. You got some good. You got a respectable roll going. One, two, seven. Taking the two. It looks like that's. Oh, that's a hard choice. Yeah. Because the the green die might or might not knock something off. It only hits, it's one, two, three, six, seven, eight. So probably I mean, best to go 32. safer. 10, so. 20, 30, I'm counting 33. I mean 33. Yeah. Not enough to get this one. No, uh, you can roll your, roll your chance at another five. No. I will take my upgrades. I get two cages and this thing. Yeah, did you get the... Uh, um, I will take both of these. And which gives me... Two cages? Yes. Which gives me an upgrade for blue and an upgrade for yellow. Oh, wow. Auto upgrades. That's good. Um, um, did you get your um, eight upgrade? Yeah, that's what the two oh, cages... Oh, that's what that was. All right, then the, the ones that come out almost ends the game. Yeah. Looks like a blue and a green. Put your things on it. There are two cages left. Looks like I need to go. Yeah, all the tokens belong to him. Woohoo! Four, five, six, seven, eight, and a blue. Looks like that's what I need to do. Let's go after blue and hope for the Octomegadon. I could go for the Draco Chelonia, but I mean that I can do that from anywhere, and that's that's about as many dice as I can roll. You can't roll any more than that. Mm, yeah. So, probably the sign the game is over. But well, if you roll forty, you can get six cages. So eh, maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, and I will get all the cages. It's um, minimum six points. But if I get Draco Chelonia, I also replenish the cage, and you don't get to ca you don't get to cage the Draco. Ch Currently, your cage value I think is more than mine. Two, three, four, five, seven, and you've got it's seven. It's the same. Yeah. So I worry about uh, my end game here. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, there are some small ones in case I miss my target. Ooh. Not great. You know what? A bunch of twos. You know what? Some this, threes. Th these three threes will upgrade, your green. upgrade my green to, to pass the two cage mark. Yep. And so that will definitely trigger the end. With me knowing it's coming instead of it just surprise. Hey, it happened. <laughs> that would not be good for me. Uh, pair of fours is not bad. 
the single six, single ten are great, but I'm hoping the ten can happen at any time. Well, that looks good. Uh, we're looking at 18, 21, 24, 27. Ooh. I just need four more. It's a six. That is a six with a decent chance on the blue. Do I need the blue? I mean, might as well give it a shot. Wow. That's a lot. Uh, seven, 17, 27, 31, and nine is 40. It's a lot. Well, the six this, cages this or is the nine. question. It would really be eight cages because you're upgrading as well. Or it, you could get this. <laughs> Draco Chelonia would take that away, would steal a cage, and I still get the two cages. Yeah. And I and I get the cage for whatever pops up here. Okay. All of that is good. And if this is one and a half each, then that's nine. Uh, about nine points. So that's six by itself. I've got to take the Jaco Chelonia. Um, it's thirty-five and five is forty. Well, that's this is the only thing I can buy. So, but it'll be worth it because that's a two cage swing. Um, two cages from the upgrades because this upgrades the rest of the way. And you don't get points for any of these though. And that's the um, slightly unfortunate part. Your points is that you get a million dice and I don't. No, points is that I get a million dice. Uh, this comes out and it's worth, oh, it's a three. Seems decent. So game end is triggered. This is just for refreshing stuff. Oh, your tokens are belong to us. Somebody set up us the bomb. Launch every zig for great justice. Well, I might as well go with... I don't know. I could either go for this one. The basilisk. Or I could go for like those two. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll roll blue. Well, both of these two is the same as the Basilisk and at a much lower cost. Right. That's why I think I should go for blue. So. Mo both of these cost more than the one Basilisk. That's what I'm saying. I know, but there's no other green unless I take it from myself. Which there's no other green. In case you miss sense. is what you're saying. Right. Yeah, I got, I got you. I got you. And then the yellows are not worth a whole great big bunch. Uh, I mean, that that's probably slightly, but you I don't roll as many effect. dice. So you don't get as six, many dice. Six and one. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one. Blue. Uh, looks like a lot of fours. Yeah, probably do that. Three, four, 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 five, six, seven. I, get out. What's the other game that has an element a lot like this? You're shedding. <laughs> yeah. Ten, four, five, six. You can't get much better than that except for having a pair of fives, pair of sixes. <laughs> that would have been better. Uh, you currently have 22 on the count. Another five. Another five, another six, another three. Yeah. Uh, your count is 27. Three and a two. Uh, too bad you didn't roll a pair of twos because you I could know. have upgraded I was hoping, twice. I was hoping for that, but here we are. Here we are. Oh. I was rooting for you. No, you weren't. What? You're my enemy. <laughs> You're going to do it anyway. You did it. You did something different. I have nothing to lose. 10, 18, 21, 31, 36, I think. 10, 21, 31, 36. Not enough. Looking for the 40 was not enough. Well, I was looking to beat both of your blue cards. Oh, yeah. You needed 38. Well. Hey, Derek. How you doing? Hey. Oops. 
contributed to the Gink Challenge and the Solo Night Challenge. Did Gink is at 98%. If you want Wingspan, this is your last, probably your last chance. So the night hit 50%, Steph. Mm, that's good. Yep, and we're halfway through the month. We'll Almost. Take, I could take this and a cage. 24, so. 34, yes. So I might as well. Any any benefits on that? No. No. All right, there's your cage. That refills it. And so. it does refill. Huh. So that's an extra point, which is, you know, it's an extra it's point. It's something. <laughs> it's something. All right, we're done. Let's count up the points. So all we do, scoop all these together, count up the points. Um, these actually go into cages. Uh. Cage, 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 cage. Cage. I hope I get half of what he gets. I got a little ones and twos cages. I did take away your big one. So we get full value for these. We get whatever the smaller value is for the cages. Drum roll, please. What? What do you? Did you count your upper points? Twenty here. Twenty. Oh, that's a race. Crap. <laughs> one, 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 one. Guess I guess we'll see. Sixteen. Eleven there. Thirty-six total to thirty-one. 36. Much closer than you thought. Not really. What do you mean not really? I knew I was losing. I didn't. I, I knew there was that's no not, chance of that's me winning. That's not what I said. I said it's much closer than you thought. I just rolled dice really, Which really poorly. The lie detector says that's a true statement. Really, really poorly. <laughs> All right. How bad was the stream, guys? Was it we, really bouncing? We need like an eight ball that <laughs> that someone can put uh, all <laughs> signs point to yes or something. We need uh, we need something like that. We need to pull out our basics. You can look at the back. It's easier. Oh, is it? Is it on? Oh, things you learn when you play games. Um, so, yeah. What do you guys think? We like it. Mostly okay. Choppy here and there. We tried, guys. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. It was good for the most part. Some stutters, not so bad. I, I couldn't that I couldn't see what's going on. Hopefully, it buffers and re reassembles itself correctly at Twitch. It won't. It won't. You you've determined it. I'm pretty sure it won't. You're pretty sure it won't. <laughs> yeah, I like this. I I don't think it's available quite yet. This game, um, but I think it's coming really soon, like in the next couple of months or something. Like it's available, obviously, in Germany, and like. But if you if if you absolutely have to have it, it is playable. There there are English rules available, um, and you you won't need paste ups for the cards. So uh, if you yeah, if you good. feel yourself compelled to get it now now now, hey time roller, I know what that whoops means. Whoops. Um, no, it will be available in a couple months. So. Yeah. So you can get it in yeah. a couple months. I like Fister games. This is a much lighter Alexander Fister game. Uh, obviously, compared to like Maracaibo. <laughs> yes. I love love Maracaibo. <laughs> or Mombasa. Or the things with a lot of depth. This is a... Now, on the Amigos scale... This doesn't scale, have to be deep, there, though. There was a lot of oh, comments about, that's the, right. about the Amigo Oh, I remember this. The am scale. Amigo depth versus gamer depth. Yeah. All right, so let me turn this box over. On the back of the box, Amigo has the, fam the family score, whether it's like towards families or towards experts, you know, how much strategy it takes, and uh, what's... Is that like chaos, the the randomness or something? I don't know. Um, but 
for on the strategy level, this is definitely not a a level four out of five strategy game. Um, who was it, Alexander Fist, yeah. himself, or yeah. was it, to it was one of the publishers? Alexander. He says basically whatever the Amigo rating is, take <laughs> off two and you've got the BGG rating. Yeah. So instead of it being a four to five, about a two out of five. I'd say and that's difficulty. fairly yeah. accurate. That's fairly accurate. Uh, Carnival of Monsters was a five out of five on the Amigo scale. It's about a three to five on BGG. Is that? I'd say that's probably fairly accurate. Yeah, it's so, not. It's not too heavy. Um, and the publisher confirmed all of this. They they were both very resp responsive in the thread. Both Alexander and um, uh, Amigo. They both chimed in, and I think that that is. That's what you want a publisher and a designer to do. That was really good. It's to be on it like that. Yeah. No. Weird. And then it's like watching y'all play games recently is very bad for my <laughs> growing <laughs> wish list. <laughs> hey, come visit when you get. That's right. You know. <laughs> we play all the games over here. We play here, all the games so... and we're only four hours away. So. <laughs> Ta -da. There you go. Ta -da. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I like it. I think it's cute. Um. I'm really bad at it, as you can see. <laughs> That's not true. You just got bad rolls. And it what didn't matter whether you were first or second. I had yesterday, too, or didn't, whenever we played. Yeah. And it didn't matter whether you were first or second, because we did switch up. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. You still got all the cages out there. <laughs> every time. Because every time I roll enough to get one card. And you get, like, five cards. And you're like, nom, I get nom, cages, nom, nom, too. Nom. And I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do this. And, and hey, then watch like, this. Beat and I, down, and I beat down. Cage. <laughs> this is what happens. Well, it's like my the beat down on my city that we did. Yeah, but then but then you got. Then me I back, did come so. back. And I don't then you got hear a, it. You did get a little revenge at the end there. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little right there. All right, we'll Under be right back. We'll be right back. 